Alcoholic beverages were an important part of everyday medieval life. Unlike modern times, drinking alcoholic beverages was a common, widespread activity. In fact, the earliest recorded European Temperance Society did not appear until 1818 AD in Sweden. It was established through the efforts of Lutheran clergy to limit consumption of the alcoholic beverage called schnapps. Nevertheless, these rules still allowed for the moderate consumption of wine and beer. So, with alcoholic beverages a critical part of social culture, what were the most popular drinks consumed by medieval people? Ale was the alcoholic drink of choice in medieval England and was consumed by all social classes. Due to questionable water sources for many at the time, ale was a preferred option for drinking, especially in large towns and cities. The fermentation process solved most potential water-related illness issues like cholera, contaminated wells, and microorganisms that could cause serious illness. Ale in particular was the common person's alcoholic beverage and was consumed by both men and women. Though medieval ale was much different than our modern machine-produced beverage, ale was made in small batches with no constant standard of production. Ale in medieval times was cloudy in appearance, often with remnants of the original ingredients contained in the beverage. Middle Ages ale was less bitter and sweeter than modern beer because there were no hops. Middle Ages ale was also much less carbonated with the absence of modern production methods. It often had a herbaceous or spice flavor with the introduction of ingredients like juniper, sage, and cinnamon by brewers after the Crusades period. Different brew houses offered their own flavors depending on their location, brewing process, what ingredients were in season, and access to them. Malting barley or oats, which was the process of turning starches into sugar, would be performed by the brewer, who were mostly women. They were known as alewives and performed most of the brewing before the 14th century in England, even though anyone was allowed to brew ale. The strength of the ale was determined by how much water and grain was used to brew a batch. Without modern preservatives, medieval ale could not keep for long. Therefore, brewing was a constant process of creating new batches to satisfy demand. When fresh ale was ready, the alewife would hang an ale pool or ale stick garlanded with foliage outside or through a window as a sign to the public it was available to consume. These households became known as alehouses. The use of ale pools went into decline as taverns and inns in the 14th century made pictorial signs for the mainly illiterate public to visit their establishments. Alehouses began following this trend around the 16th century. It is important to note the volume of ale served at these places was standardized. Clause 35 of the Magna Carta in 1215 stated there should be a single measure for ale throughout the kingdom. Additionally, many towns in England had ale conners, also known as ale tasters, that monitored the measure, quality, and pricing of ale served by a brewer, with producers in violation of their rules subject to fines. In addition, the public shaming from brewing a bad batch in a community where you depended on customers could have disastrous consequences. With an adult male consuming over one gallon per day of ale in 1300s England, it is important to state that the alcoholic content was not at today's higher levels. The small ale they consumed, also known as small beer, usually had an alcohol content of around 1% or less. Ale was a dietary staple in medieval times, with an estimated 80% of caloric intake in medieval England from bread and ale. Ale was also popular due to its perceived nutritional value and to satisfy thirst. Ale was such a part of daily life that peasants were often paid for their labor in part with quantities of ale. Now, we shall present another popular medieval alcoholic beverage. Cider was another preferred alcoholic drink in medieval England, with laborers' wages partially paid by cider in certain areas. During the Middle Ages, apples were growing in orchards across the land, though southwest counties like Somerset and the southeast region have long traditions with cider. It is interesting to note that apples in medieval times were smaller in size and less sweet compared to modern varieties. The medieval process for producing cider was harvesting the apple, juicing, straining, and fermenting the juice with wild yeast. Unlike modern mass-produced carbonated ciders, there was no uniform taste with each batch. Medieval cider had less sweetness compared with today's manufactured product and had a cloudy appearance due to the lack of modern filtration. In addition to small-scale farm producers, monasteries were also regular makers of ciders. They would sell the majority of their cider to the public. Wine was an elite choice of drink in medieval England, especially red wine. Nobility and upper classes imported wine from around the mid-12th century into England to impress their guests with its quality and their abundance. This wine would often be produced in France, Germany, and the Iberian Peninsula, 
Unlike these countries, where wine was an accessible common drink, Northern Europe did not have favorable growing conditions. Wine was thought to have medicinal benefits in moderation. The quality of wine consumed was determined by the type of grape and number of pressings used in production. First and second pressings were preferred by the wealthy and most expensive. Third pressings were more affordable for commoners and of lesser quality. When obtained, peasants would often drink these vinegary contents mixed with water, which was considered better than the risk of drinking water alone. Medieval wine did not compare to modern vintages and was commonly referred to as having poor taste. It spoiled rather quickly due to air exposure, since at that time proper ways for resealing these contents were unavailable. Therefore, once a cask of wine was opened, people tried to consume its contents as soon as possible. Without the benefit of modern winemaking methods, and often using grapes which were not fully ripened, even the taste of quality medieval wine could not compare to modern standards. Once casks were opened, wine was often mixed with spices like cloves, nutmeg, and ginger to mask the harsh taste as content soured from exposure. Mead was a medieval drink consumed by all classes, though not widely consumed like ale and wine. Also known as honey wine, it was a honey-based drink usually fermented with wild yeast and mixed with water. The taste of medieval mead could be described as similar to sparkling wine with medium sweetness and a distinct honey-based flavor. Mead could be made with various flavors and alcohol content. Monasteries, which were involved with substantial beekeeping operations to make candle wax, produced large amounts of honey, which they made into mead. Monks were a major brewer of mead in medieval England. After the Black Death Plague of the mid-14th century, production of honey decreased, possibly due to the Little Ice Age and its effects on climate in Northern Europe. Prices rose for mead, while people that used to drink this beverage switched their preferences to ale and beer. As the medieval period neared its close, the popularity of mead had decreased substantially. During medieval times, socializing, business affairs, gambling with cards, dice, and games of leisure would often accompany the consumption of alcoholic beverages at alehouses and taverns. For the nobility, they would enjoy drinking pleasures at banquets within their manors or estates. However, for most commoners frequenting these drinking establishments, they encountered an environment of mixed reputation. Medieval people typically consumed beverages with a lower alcohol content. Nevertheless, one could not help but assume with the large quantities they drank that many would experience some degree of impairment. As a result, rowdy behavior, increased accidents, brawling, and assaults were common occurrences at these drinking establishments. Today, people enjoy alcoholic drinks during various pleasurable activities and relaxing moments, though our consumption of alcohol in modern times is not nearly to the regularity and quantity of the medieval period. In addition, the social norms of alcohol consumption have changed from being an important part of everyday life in the Middle Ages to one of moderation and awareness. Thank you for supporting us at Medieval Modern. Please be sure to watch another episode shown at the end of this video. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you good tidings as we remember that sharing knowledge has been a noble deed throughout the ages.